Okay, I'm now going to show you a little bit about a new feature in Camelot Software version 3.4. Uh, it's a link to constantcontact.com for doing your emails. Uh, we'll, we want to begin by, uh, on the Come With Me Setup screen, on the email tab, you'll see it's got a place to put your uh, username and password for your constantcontact.com login. Um, if you don't have uh, an account with them yet, uh, haven't used them before, um, you'll want to go to this uh, link here under Constant Contact Options to go to constantcontact.com and create your account and everything there through this link. This is a special link that's associated with our software, so you'll always want to log in through that link when you go to constantcontact.com. Once you're there, uh, you'll see it's got a nice interface, a really neat thing for uh, creating your emails using templates that they have that are really easy to use, can include graphics that look really nice and, and create really professional looking emails. You'll want to start there under create an email on the email marketing tab and give it a new name. Uh, we'll start with an example for a confirmation email, like for a job confirmation. Um, we'll just call it my confirmation, my new confirmation. I've already used that name before, so we'll tag a two under the end of it. And go through here, you'll see they've got templates to choose from that all look really nice. Um, Example I'll use is this uh, promotions for cleaning services and just select that template and click next and it walks you through everything having to do with uh, making this email look good. Um, we'll start off with an appointment confirmation uh, subject line for the email. All this information here will actually already be filled in for you uh, once you set up your account with constantcontact.com. This is the same for all your emails, all this stuff here. So. Typically, you won't have to change anything here except for the subject when you're making a new email. And click Next, and then it'll take you to the uh, actual interface for uh, editing uh, what the email says and how it looks. Um, you'll see each of the, these blocks, you click in them, and then you can type different text to go in there. So I'm just going to do a little bit of for an example here, but I'm sure you get the idea. Um, any of these blocks, once you edit them, there's a little save button that will pop up above it. When you're done making your changes, just click save and it'll come back out this way. Uh, as I mentioned, it, it, it has graphics and whatnot here in the template. You can insert and upload your own graphics uh, uh, here as well, so you don't have to be limited to the ones that they have. So um, these blocks, some, some of these templates that they have have sort of, you know, just stuff that you don't necessarily need in all of your emails. You might want this quick links uh, section so you can put a, a link to your website and, and that kind of information. The real uh, powerful part of the connection with uh, Camelot software is now you can actually insert these merge fields will have information from your Camelot software database. Um, and we've even made some uh, custom fields for that uh, that you're going to find really nice uh, to use to set up your your very customized email. So I'll explain what those custom fields are now. Um, the custom text one is actually for the greeting. Um, and you insert the fields over here under insert contact details. I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see all of that. And custom text one is going to be for the greeting and, and that's going to be like, uh, it, it, it's intelligent in that if you have a title entered for the customer, uh, meaning Mr., Mrs., Doctor, um, then it will use that and their last name as this greeting. Dear Mrs. Smith is what it will put there. If you don't have a title entered, then it will just use their first name, like Dear John. So uh, you can typically always start off your emails with Hi, and then Custom Text 1, or Dear Custom Text 1, or whatever you want to say. Um, and this is being a job confirmation. We'll have something like this. Uh, email is to confirm our appointment with you for and then custom text 2 is the appointment date and it's actually formatted as the day and the date so it would be like Saturday February 19th 2011 and then custom text 3 is the appointment time um, custom text 4 is actually the appointment finish time so if you want to put a time uh, range here, you can do that as well. Custom text 5 is the service category, so you could even get as specific as saying to perform and then have, you know, a specific category mentioned there. 
um, if uh, most of the time you would just customize this particular email for all your carpet cleaning jobs, so you wouldn't need that. But just in case, you, you have it at your disposal. Um, also, uh, custom tech six is the last done order date. Um, you wouldn't need that in a job confirmation, but in your reminder letters, that's where what you would use for that. So just keep in mind, let me review real quickly. And you can find this information in, your, uh, in our web knowledge base online when you search for constant contact there. Um, custom text one is the greeting name, which is going to be either Mrs. Smith or their first name. Uh, custom text two is the uh, appointment date, and that's the day and the date, like Saturday, February 19th, 2011. Custom text three is the appointment start time. Custom text four is the appointment finish time. Custom text five is the uh, appointment service category. And custom text six is their last done order date. Okay, so once you have the email looking like you want, um, you know, there's all kinds of options here, and you can refer to the help at constantcontact.com for more information about sprucing this up and making it look exactly how you want it to look. And then just continue on through this. Um, you're going to want to just, when you first define an email, go ahead and add it to like the general interest list. That's the default list there. But uh, Camelot software will control what list this email gets sent to, and we'll get to that later on. And then you always want to leave it, when you create a new one, just leave it set as a draft. Uh, and then click Finish, and then you'll see that email listed. Uh, along with your others.